A show that is quite controversial for its subject uh, matter is, of course, Nothing to Lose. And it comes in a long line of work that Kay Champion, the choreographer of the company Force Majeure, um, has made uh, works that do investigate contemporary Australian culture and works that are not afraid of asking difficult questions. And the question in this work is actually, what does it mean when you put really big bodies on stage and call them professional dancers? <laughs> It's a world premiere. It's the last work um, by Kay Champion with her company, after which she will retire as the artistic director, and a great opportunity to see her work with this beautiful collaborative approach that she has, getting her dancers involved, and then coming with a work that I'm sure will shake the house in more than just a physical way. <laughs> Nothing to Lose is a show with bigger bodied, plus sized fat dancers. But my original inspiration came from seeing people on the dance floor and in clubs and at parties, and often being my eye was drawn to um, the larger person on the dance floor because of how they moved. And I thought, why aren't we seeing that on stage more? What, what, what's prohibitive about the stage and the public performance, dance particularly, I guess? And so it started to grow the idea of what it would be like to have a full cast of big body dancers. Bigger bodies move differently in many ways and I knew I needed to find someone who lives in the bigger body. I wasn't going to pretend that I could know what that's like and I certainly wanted to make sure that my role as a director and choreographer wasn't voyeuristic or exploitative. And I think you can only make sure that doesn't happen if you get someone on board who has that body size. For me, I mean, I, it's, it's totally my lived experience being a, a performer who is a, in a body of size. And the reason why I started doing Nothing To Lose is that we were able to do something that is rarely seen on, on stages before, especially in a dance theatre context, which is not just have one or two, but have a whole cast of undeniably bigger bodies on stage. But what both Kate and I are really interested in doing as well is, is stripping away all of that judgement and that baggage that people have around fat bodies and actually just creating a space where audiences can, can view them in a different way in it and actually just enjoy the large physical form moving. I had no idea the level of abuse that a lot of them experience daily and how they have to prepare themselves to go out in public all the time. That, that's quite shocking and so I had to really be um, told and I guess convinced that that was the case. But also even on a physical level, sometimes it's like, what do I do if I can't reach my toes? Or what if I can't do that move? What's the alternative? How can we make this not a prohibitive thing, but work with the restriction, I guess, or find something that they can do? So sometimes I'm not aware of where they can and can't go or how far they can go. Or, I mean, you know, they can shake and, and wobble and move this flesh around and I don't have that flesh to move around. So they uh, point out the possibilities of it choreographically with their, with their flesh, with their shape, with their form. The opportunity to be in a dance theatre show as a fat person is incredibly rare. It rarely happens. And so watching that kind of understanding of self and embodiment has been an incredible joy for, for me and Kate to, to see them transform into these moving bodies. There's no shyness, there's no holding back. They are really at home in their own skin and I find that really compelling as a director. Sometimes some performers you've got to coax into things and I found they're just willing to go there. They just, <laughs> they go there and then they go a bit further. And yeah, as a director and a choreographer, that's incredibly exciting. 
dancing in a fat body is incredibly radical and controversial because it's not done and it's not encouraged. That very fact is why this show is interesting because what have, why have we become so alienated from physical otherness that the, the, the very idea of a fat dancing body is so controversial? It should be just by and by, really, when you think about it. I'm not an activist, and yes, it is political just by doing it, but I see my responsibility as an artist to help society or help people see things differently or even things that they think they're familiar with, to see a different angle, a different perspective.